Hi, this is Grandma Lori. Today's story is the great hide-and-seek game. What do you guys think? Should we play hide-and-seek? Asked Helen. He and his friends were enjoying a few days off from school. The weather was so nice, so the moms told all the kids to play outside. They were all standing in front of Kellen's house. That sounds like a great idea, said Stephen. He was Kellen's next door neighbor. Can we hide anywhere? Amy said, only in Kellen's yard, the field across the street, and in Kellen's house. Otherwise, it wouldn't be fair. That's right, said Padme. Some of us have shorter legs than others, so we can't go as far as quickly. Everyone murmured their support. Then Austin, the youngest of the group, said, I think each older kid needs to take a younger one with them. That way it's fair. Perfect, said Amy. And the teams should be two older and two younger. What does everybody think? Everyone nodded. Okay, said Kellen. Let's go. Who's it? All together, the children yelled, You are! Kellen was very surprised. Okay, okay, Kellen said. Pair up. The children got together and divided into teams as they had agreed. Unfortunately, there was one little one who was left over, Eddie, who was starting to cry. Kellen knelt down in front of Eddie and said, It's okay, Eddie. Don't cry. We can work together to find everyone. Eddie stopped crying and wiped his tears. Thanks, Kellen. That would be great. Kellen was ready. Are the, all the teams set? Okay, Eddie and I are going to count and start looking when we get to 20. Remember, only in my yard, my house, and the field across the street. No changing hiding spots once you're in one. And if we find you, you have to come sit on my front porch. Everyone got it? The kids all let out a yell of, Yes! And started moving away. Kellen and Eddie closed their eyes and started counting loudly. 18, 19, 20. Here we come! Kellen and Eddie said together. Eddie looked confused when they finished counting. What do we do now, Kellen? We go find the kids. Let's split up. That way it won't take us as long to find everyone, Callan said. I'll start with the field across the street. How about you go into my house and look? Callan ran into the field while Eddie went into the house. He said hello to Callan's mom and went to find the kids. As Eddie went into Callan's mom's sewing room, he felt like he was being watched. He started looking under the cloth she had lying around when he saw Amy and her team. Tag! Eddie yelled. The four children came out from under the table where they hid, laughing. You caught us, Eddie. Good job, said Deshaun. The five walked out of the sewing room and out to the porch, where the team sat down to wait everyone. Kellen crossed the street to the field after making sure there weren't any cars around. He knew no one would be hiding in the field itself, so he went into the woods. He thought he heard at least one team crossing through the tall grass while he was counting. Nobby was peeking out from behind some bush. Shh, guys, he's right there, he whispered to his team. Just then, Kellen pulled back the bush and said, Gotcha, you're caught. Everyone started laughing, and while Nobby's team started back to Kellen's house, Kellen kept looking. Alex and his team decided to make a break for it when they saw Nobby's team come out of the woods. They figured they wouldn't get caught if they changed places, but boy, were they wrong. I see you trying to change places said Eddie. That's cheating. Yeah, said Stephen, who had already been caught. You need to come sit down with us. That left just one team. Where were they? Eddie went into Kellen's backyard to see if he could find them. Kellen was in the woods trying to find the last team. After about 15 minutes, Kellen and Eddie met on the front porch. I don't see them anywhere, said Eddie. I don't either, said Kellen. The front door opened. It was Mom. I think I found something you lost, she said. Behind her was the last team. I found them in the kitchen, enjoying some of my freshly baked cookies. Everyone was so surprised. Then they started laughing. I think this calls for cookies all around, said Kellen's mom, handing the plate of cookies to Kellen. I'll be right back with some milk for everyone. Later that night, as Kellen was going to bed, he said to his mom, That was great fun, mom. Thank you for the cookies. I love you. This has been Grandma Lori. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this story.